have a member of Team Curse. Chilling, dude. Enter gems in the morning. Oh. And Enter gems keeping him up all night. Of course, chilling, dude. Ready? Huge, huge better. And, okay, so hand warmers. Now, I don't remember this player's name. However, uh, there is a huge contingent of players here from Guam. Uh, Tim Fox is one of them. Actually, let's see. I do have some notes on Tim Fox. All right, let's hear it. Let's see if I do. Wait, I believe this is a hand warmer still? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, right, so we still have some time to shed some light on these players. Or maybe not, because we're going to get into the match immediately. Okay, and it looks like Guam Fox is already throwing out the, a heart to all of his buddies back at home in Guam. Gives a nice dab, the MDVA pound, and we're going to go straight into it. A Fox Mirror with chilling, almost self-destructing offstage with an early side beat, but Tim Fox saves him. What a nice guy. You know, it wouldn't be chilling without, you know, one SD or close to it, so. <laughs> uh oh, both of these players messing up on their technical stuff. It's pretty early in the day. Yeah, you know, no one has a coffee yet. I know I haven't had mine yet. So. But looks like Chillin might just get this first stock. Good back air for good measure, taking the first stock here against Tim Fox. Good shine out of shield, trying to make sure Tim does not get another hit. Tim Fox already has Z. And Chillin with the Salvation Army stock, he's like, no worry, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tim Fox, from what we know about him, he is the best Fox in Guam. All right. Uh, him and Blue are two guys from Guam looking out for. Blue is a dog main. But, you know, this is the first time you're being tested by international competition. And, well, Chillin is a huge test. Um, actually, this is the first time hearing it that any serious melee players from Guam are competing off the island. So, let's see what they can do here. All right. Well, Chillin doing a good job of tossing out those Fox dash attacks whenever a Fox is at a high percent because if they DI down, they'll get, the, they'll get knocked over. Or, if they don't DI down, they'll get knocked into the air, allowing you to get an up smash or possibly other follow-ups, leading to a potential KO. And wow, chillin'. Chillin', dude. <coughs> One minute, 28 seconds. Mission complete. Oh, mission rounding. Yep. rounding. It's close enough. Don't mission. Know. What I was going to say was mission complete, but not yet accomplished, as it is only the first game. Right, right. Let's and go. Tim Fox will want a bit more room to run. Oh, but he's going to... Oh, he nearly ran right into that back air, but went straight up. And we, of course, we saw the Benji Chillin' dude there. The falling up there. And another Again. one. I guess he heard me. Okay, Chillin' dude. Stop down. That's what you... Oh! Oh, Tim Fox was in a good position to possibly get a shine. Yep, and that would have finished the stock off. And Chillin' dude was deserved but that time, he had some expecting to go... Expecting Tim Fox to go straight forward, so... Good DI out of there by uh, Tim Fox. Whenever you DI out of those Fox drills, you give yourself an opportunity to avoid a potential grab or shine follow-up. Need to do is you just need to tap the stick multiple times away from the box. That way you can avoid a potential follow up. What's that called? Smash DI. Cool. And again, these are vintage edge bars from Chillin. Yeah, Tim Fox not going for any sweet spots. He's always going high. He's and always going straight forward. Yeah. Chillin dude picked up on at this point. Yeah, Tim Fox needs to mix it up. I mean, he's currently down two stocks. Ooh, and he was almost positioned for the back air, but didn't get over it, over the platform. Ooh, and shield stab. Yeah, the presence of mind, you see him in the air thinking about which side he's gonna land on. See a bit of daylight behind Fox's head. And connects. Now, one thing, guys, if you don't know about shield stabs, in this game, if you block for far too long, parts of your body start getting exposed in Smash Brothers. And so do players. I'm not saying about Tim Fox at all, because he's certainly showing us some prowess, but Chillin' Dude is a veteran who knows these stages very, very well. And of course, you know. Nice, by There we go. Lines. There we go, all right. We start putting stuff together. Showing a little bit of promise. But of course, if he has to make a huge comeback here, it's going to take... Oh, did Probably you see that whole tail? Yeah. I'm led to believe that Tim Fox is really good, but just didn't get enough warm-ups. That or he's nervous. Again, you know, yeah. first time off the island. Oh, good stuff by Chillin' Dope. 
Those up tilts, man. Makes it really hard. You can't just jump in willy-nilly against Fox. Oh, here we go. These guys in the boxing game go back and forth with those jabs and tilts. Up smash. And he's gone. 2-0 in favor of Curse's very own. Chilling, dude. 8-2-9. But of course, you know, a lot of credit to Tim Fox's entire Guam crew. I mean...